Hey, it's Rick Elmendorf. Have you ever gotten into debt? I know today's video is going to be about debt. I know debt sucks, but hey, it happens, right? People get into debt. I've gotten into debt before, but how do you get out of it? In today's video, I'm going to discuss the four main ways that people get out of debt. And I'm going to give you my suggestions on all this. Everybody's personal scenario is different, right? So, but let's just talk about this. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Rick Elmendorf, Loan with Rick, and in today's video, I am really excited to talk about debt. No, I'm really not excited to talk about debt, but I'm excited to talk about how to get out of debt and the ways to do it. And there's one particular way that I would just, I'm absolutely going to just roll over in my grave continuing as if people, oh, why am I even saying that? This is the most absurd thing to say. I'm just not very happy if people actually do it. One of the ways that I'm going to show you, which is the first way, which is a bad way. And anyway, so I digress. So there's four ways that people typically get out of debt. Number one is they go out and get a debt consolidation loan. Let me just show you something here. I'm going to give you a really cool transition. It's like, whoosh, I know you like that, right? So this is the first way people get out of debt. They take a debt consolidation loan. Now, please, 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 for the love of all that's good, do not get a debt consolidation loan. Typically, debt, getting a debt consolidation loan, which is an unsecured debt, is nothing more than just opening another credit card. The interest rates are extremely high. No, it's the most, it's the worst thing to do, and just do not do it. You're gonna be paying 16, 18, 20 percent in interest, and um, even if it's less, the payment terms back are, are not that great. I really, there's a lot of better ways to do this. Now, let's talk about the second way people can get out of debt. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click over in my cool transition here. Let's see if I can do it. whoosh. I know, you love that. So back to me, back to me, and back to the transition. I think it makes that cool sound too. Okay, so the second way people get out of debt is something I'm not actually uh, opposed to. And um, there was an article done from NerdWallet, and um, I like these guys. They, they give a lot of great tips and tools. Um, but the question is, should I use a credit card, should I use a 401k loan to get out of credit card debt. Now, this is an acceptable practice. I mean, you got to check with your um, your employer whether you could use your 401k, your 403b, um, or your thrift savings plan. Typically, um, these retirement plans will allow some sort of borrowing against that to consolidate debt. I like this much, much better. And in fact, if you don't have to go, if you have a retirement plan that does have money in it, um, then this is a really good option. The cool thing about a 401k or 403b or TSP is that the interest is much, much lower. You can also then use the, the, the interest that you're paying on the loan is actually paying yourself the interest back. So it's a, it's a really good option. You know, this is a much preferred option than pretty much anything else because really I don't have to tap any of the equity in my house. Borrowing against a 401k for debt consolidation is actually a pretty good idea. Now let's look at the third way people do it. And I'm gonna go back to my transition here and I'm gonna talk about a home equity line of credit. Now, this is also very common. Now I did a, a video recently and I'll put the link here and I'll put a card here in the top of the video so you can see that. Now a home equity line of credit typically goes behind these first mortgage that you currently have. So people when buy that, they buy a house, they get a first mortgage, they put a down payment and then they've got the, whatever that down payment was or whatever your equity position now is allowable to be borrowed against in the form of a second mortgage or a home equity line of credit. Now, a line of credit means just that. It's just like a big gold credit card. It's adjustable, it's tied to the prime rate, and typically these rates range from uh, prime plus zero to prime plus one, two, or even three, depending on your credit. And I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bam, you just saw me sneeze on camera, I love it. This is great, I'm just gonna leave that in there, I'm not gonna edit it out. Cause I mean, I'm all about the entertainment. Do not get a home equity line of credit, why? I truly believe, now we're in a high interest rate we're in a low interest rate environment for short-term rates. The Federal Reserve is jacking interest rates. And by the time I do this video, we're at, what, we're at 12 July uh, in 2022. Regardless, when rates go up, if we're in a, an increasing interest rate scenario, you do not want to have a line of credit. It's just going to increase your interest rate. So uh, for that reason, and I'm not a big fan of home equity line of credits, especially taking out a home equity line of credit in any large amount. Okay. Last but not least, See, now you can see me better. Another way to consolidate debt is in the form of a new loan. So you do what's called a cash out refinance. Again, I, this last video I did was I gave the pros uh, of a cash out refinance. Now, not everybody should do a cash out refinance. You got a two and a quarter percent VA loan rate. And like, what are you going to do? Borrow another $20,000 to pay off credit card debt? Absolutely not. Don't do a cash out refinance. However, 
the pros of this is that you know interest rates are cyclical so if you do have even though you have a lower interest rate right now what will happen is that you would be refinancing to a higher interest rate to consolidate all this debt and it would have to be a good amount of debt that we'd be consolidating right to make it worthwhile and to lower the payments but that's the beautiful thing a home mortgage is a 30-year mortgage it's going to reduce the payments on that debt substantially so knowing that interest rates mortgage rates are cyclical yeah are we looking at interest rates that are high right now in july of 2022 yes are they going to go down in the future you can look at some of my other videos i'll put a playlist at the end the federal reserve is forcing us into recession mortgage rates are good in a recession just ride the rates whether we're going into a recession or not interest rates are cyclical and they go up and they go down they don't go up and stay up they don't go down and stay down i am a big fan of doing cash out refinances if it makes sense so um, just go to loanwithrick.com and you can see here um, you just go ahead and click the check rates and you can it'll bring up a form i think this is going to hopefully change by the time you click on this video and uh, but it'll give you an idea um, what we're all about so any event i hope this is helpful and um, you know debt sucks and you should get out of it um, but let's just take it easy a bit if you need any uh, advice or want to talk about it you can go ahead and send me a message reply to this uh, you know send me a comment in the in the video as well and please if this uh, comp if this information was helpful to you please go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell and all that kind of good stuff and i appreciate it anyway this is rick elmendorf and i will see you on the next video thanks